But out of nothing came something, okay? Out of nothing came the most complex, detailed part of creation, you. So this is hot chocolate, all right? I can take it for a sec. Can you stay there though for me? Oh, you can hold that up. This is hot chocolate. So everyone, hot chocolate. Does it look like hot chocolate? It's like a magician's thing. No, is it definitely hot chocolate? Does it smell like hot chocolate? Yeah. yeah, it's definitely hot chocolate. Okay. Now, hot chocolate is just powder, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if you went to Costa Coffee and you said, can I have a hot chocolate? And they gave you this, would you be a little bit disappointed? Yeah. yeah. No. But, but it is actually hot. So what's it say? Hot chocolate. It's hot chocolate. But, but it's not. Why is it not? What do you mean I haven't made it? You have to put the dust in the water. You have to put the dust in the water. You have to put the dust in the water. So basically, it says you need to add hot water. You need to add water to make it something. In the case of us, God had to speak. Yeah? God has to speak life into the nothing. Into the but God took nothing and turned it into something. He had to add Water. Jesus says this in the Word of God. It says, Jesus answered her and said, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Put your hand up if you feel like you've been blessed in your faith yes do you know what that is that's the this is the best bit Jesus pours out his he pours out his water into our lives but he then gives us this stuff the fun stuff the blessings he's a good father who likes uh, marshmallows on their hot chocolate oh yeah who does this with their hot chocolate you see with God, he promises to pour out into your life his everlasting, never thirsting, that you would never need to be satisfied by anything else ever again. He pours that into you. He wants you to feel his presence. He wants you to know his love. He wants you to have this place, this well, that you can always go to, even when you feel so dry, even when you're struggling, that you can go to this place and you can be filled up by his presence. That you can know that he is there for you in the hardest and the toughest times. There's always a well. brilliant thing about walking with Jesus, walking with God, is that he blesses us. We get the cream and we get the marshmallows and we get the chocolate sprinkles on top. You see, he fills us with his water, this everlasting water, but he still takes care of the other stuff. The stuff that we worry about, he takes care of it. But first, what do we need? The water.